Hi guys! So today I have a video that I haven't done in a while and that's a favorites video and it is my July favorites since it is now August. Oh my goodness, it's August. Um, actually this month actually kind of went by slow. For once it usually goes by really fast but this time it kind of it, like, went by slow. So thank goodness for that. Um, so my favorites today are going to be my beauty favorites and my non-beauty favorites so I'm kind of mixing the two but it's a little different because I'm going to start with my non-beauty favorites and then I'm going to work my way into my beauty favorites. I'm only starting with my non-beauty favorites since I think that's what most people like to see is like those random kind of fun weird things that you, you have and just like to know what your favorite songs are and your like favorite food or whatever so I'm going to go ahead and be talking about that and I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so just starting right away with my first non-beauty favorite, it's actually this, uh, it's like a breakfast thing, it's called Belvita, and to be honest, these tasted horrible at first, they tasted so gross and dry, but after a while, once you just get used to eating them, they're actually really good, and these are actually very, very good for you as well, and this is the blueberry kind, and this comes with four of these little thingamabobs, and this is like my last package, so I have to get more. But I've been really into like healthy stuff because I don't know if you guys know, but I'm trying to lose weight, obviously. Yeah, these are very yummy. After a while, I mean, at first you're just going to be like, ew, but after a while you're just going to be like, mm-hmm, these are delish. Another food favorite is Raisin Bran. I don't know if you guys know, but this is one of my all-time favorite cereals, and I like it because it's just like so plain, and I don't know what it is about me and plain cereals, but I really don't like those cereals with like the marshmallows and stuff like that and just lots of color. I really like just like plain cereal. That's so weird. I mean, most people with like Lucky Charms or like Fruit Loops or whatever, but me, I'm just more like Raisin Bran, like an old lady. Um, I really like the raisins because raisins are really good for you. It just, it's really balanced and it has like the healthy heart thing on it, which I like. I like the whole healthy heart scenario and all that, and it's not like, it's not bad for you, it's good for you. So I really like Raisin Bran. I'm sure you've already heard of this, and this is by Kellogg, by the way, in case you want to go buy it and you don't, you don't know, and you're like, oh my gosh. My next one, beauty favorite, is a book, and... I don't know if you guys know, but I love, 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 love to read. It's like, I finished this book in less than 22 hours because I was just so into it. I was like, I stayed up till midnight one night reading. I'm just like, can't put it down, and then I fell asleep. Um, but this one is called This Is Not A Test, and if you guys really like dystopian, kind of post-apocalyptic um, books, then this is a really good book for you. This is like zombies, pretty much, and these like kids get stuck in high school, and it's just really dramatic. Um, it's a little more adult. I mean, it's not adult, it's actually a teen book, but I mean, it has stronger language and it has some stronger scenes in it, so I would be a little uh, cautious of this if you don't really like those bigger, kind of more mature scenes, stuff like that. But I really, really like this book, it's so good, and I'm so upset that I finished it. And I actually have a few books that I really, really want to read, but this was just like one of them that didn't cost too much because we were on like a low budget when we went to Barnes & Noble, so I just got this, and this was $10. Oh my goodness, I definitely recommend this. Again, this is called This Is Not A Test, and the author is Courtney Summers. And if you know me, I'm really into dystopian, post-apocalyptic novels more than, like, romance and stuff. I, I don't know, I just, I think the romances are really cheesy, and I like blood. Next, I'm gonna have to say that my all-time non-beauty favorite would have to be my iPod, and this is, like, all tangled up, but I have this little, the little, um, mini touch one, the little iPod touch, what am I listening to? Of course I'm listening to that. Um, but yeah, I just have this one. It's like the touch screen one. I think it's so fun. And I do have an iPod touch as well, but I lost it. <laughs> and it was like, it was my brother's old iPod touch and it was all broken, so I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter if I lost it, because I still have this one, and this is not cracked, and it's not really easy to crack this, but I always put this in before bed, and I just love to fall asleep with the music, and speaking of music, I might as well give you my favorite songs, uh, I can't just pick one, um, so I don't know if you guys know, but I really, really, really like the band Fun, oh my gosh, if I could marry Nate Ruiz right now, I totally would, he is absolutely gorgeous, and he reminds me of Mark Wahlberg, I don't know if anyone else knows, like, I, I, do you guys think he looks like Mark Wahlberg? I really think he does, um, but he is absolutely scrumptious, and uh, I really, really love, love, love their music. Not just We Are Young, I really love Some Nights, Walk the Dog, um, Carry On, All the Pretty Girls. I mean, there's so many songs, and 
I'll just listen to them all and I'll have this moment where I'm just sitting there kind of dazed out like, oh, what? Oh, yeah. What was I doing? Oh, maybe something important. But other than fun, which I do love, and they're coming to town in August and I really want to go see them, but I probably can't. I've never been to a concert, by the way. Just a little fact. Um, I've been really loving Want You Back by Cher Lloyd. I discovered the song about three, two weeks ago? I don't know. But I really, 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 really love Cher's voice. Not just Want You Back either. I mean, I've been watching all of her old X Factor videos and oh my goodness, she has such a phenomenal voice and the cutest fashion sense. I love, love, love all her makeup, her fashion. She's just adorable and I just love, love, love Want You Back the most. I think it's just like so fun and I don't know, I like that song a lot. So now that I'm all done with my beauty favorites, or non-beauty favorites, I'm gonna get into my beauty favorites. My first beauty favorites is this little eyeshadow. I guess this is a palette and this is my Too Faced. It's the Summer Eye Look Thing? Summer Eye Sexy Shadow Collection. Okay, that's what it's called. And of course it's summer, so I mean all these colors work really well. I don't really use these darker colors as much. I really just focus on these really neutral colors and I really like this color here too. It's like this shimmery kind of, um, I don't know, kind of peachy color. But I really just like the names too, like Mermaid and Coral Crush, and I just love all these colors. They are absolutely gorgeous. I really love this um, middle one or this one for your brow bone as well. So these are all really pretty, and plus it comes with cards, like on the top. It comes with cards, but I took those out, and I don't really use those, but they do in case you don't really know much about makeup and you just bought this and you're like, oh, well, maybe I can look at those cards and get an idea. So I really like this a lot. It's excellent for the summer, obviously. It's the Summer Eyes palette. My next favorite is my Sheer Cover Mineral Foundation, and I actually kind of just put this away when it was like winter and spring and like fall and everything, but when it comes to summer, I think mineral foundation is a must-have because when you wear a liquid foundation, it can just melt off, and I have experienced that. It is not pretty at all. Um, but the Sheer Cover Mineral Foundation is something that I got online because, like, I asked for this free kit, and then they sent me all this other stuff in a bill, and I'm like, oh, I never ordered this, but okay. Um, and mine is in buff, and this has SPF 15 in it, so it does kind of protect against um, sunscreen or sunburn, which since I live in California, it's kind of essential for me, even though I wear sunscreen to the beach, so it's not like I just wear makeup, but I really like this a lot. I think it just, it blends well, and it's really nice, and it has a really good consistency, and I mean, sometimes it can be very difficult to blend, because some, it just depends on how my skin is feeling that day. Next, I have this Revlon lipstick, and this is one of my most favorite colors ever in the world. I wear this so much, you have no idea. Um, and it's this Revlon lipstick, and this is in Coral Berry. It's so pretty. Oh, I love it. I'll give you a little swatch of it. It's so gorgeous, and you can really build up the color, or you can just make it sheer, which is that's something I really, really like about this, too, is because it doesn't just go on and make your lips look really bold or really sheer. You can build it up, or you can take less off, and I really like that. So, I really like this color. It's great for the summer. Coral is so, it's like, it's such a summer color, and I love that. So, that's my favorite lipstick. My favorite lip balm is my EOS lip balm. I put this on every night before bed, and I mentioned this in, like, all my other favorites videos. Obviously, this is one of my all-time, like, must-have favorites ever, and I absolutely love this, and there's not really much to say about this. It's an egg. Pretty much, it's a lip balm. So next I have my all-time favorite hand sanitizer ever. I mean, it's not like my all-time favorite, but it's like, I don't know, it's my all-time favorite at the moment. Uh, it's the Cinnamon Raisin Cookie uh, hand sanitizer, and as you guys know, I have tons and tons of hand sanitizers. Uh, I really didn't like the scent of this at first, so I was just like, ew, no, this smells really weird, and I just don't like it. Uh, but then I just kind of got more into it, and I'm like, actually, this isn't that bad. So I started wearing this a lot more, and I put it on every night before bed as well, along with my EOS lip balm, and I just think it's a great kind of mixture. Um, with my soft lips and that smell. It kind of smells like when you're cooking something at home on a really cloudy day. And that's what I like. I really like cloudy days. <laughs> Alright, so last but not leastly, <laughs> I have my favorite nail polishes. And I only have two. Um, and the first one is the one I'm wearing right now, which is like this really pretty, bold, hot pink. And this is from OPI. And this is in La Positively Hot. 
so obviously it's a hot pink and I really like this a lot uh, I have never really gotten into pink as much as I have been like lately I've just been really getting into pink nail polishes and this is absolutely gorgeous because it's matte and it doesn't it, it actually it kind of has like a some like it looks like it kind of has a white chrome finish I don't know it's really pretty though and it's it kind of looks like it has a purple chrome finish that's weird like I don't know if you guys can tell but like it has to be in the light. It's kind of hard to tell, but I really like this color a lot. And I got this from a little boutique in Illinois. I don't live in Illinois anymore. Um, but I, I got this for like $8. They're kind of expensive. Um, so that's why I kind of stocked up on them while I was in Illinois. Because I know they are a lot more expensive in California. They can get up to like 12 bucks. So I'm glad I got these for the price that I did. That's it for all my favorites, you guys. I hope you like this video. This is my 101st video. And, uh, I mean, that's kind of weird to say it was my 101st video. But, um, let me know what you think of all the favorites. Like, what are your favorites? Um, down below your favorites, and I will be more than happy to look at them or leave a video response. And always ask me questions, guys. I'm never objected to asking questions or answering questions. But, uh, hopefully you guys aren't confused by my freaking babbling. But, anyways. I'm going to go now. I love you guys and I will talk to you later. Bye.